Hey everybody, it's a beautiful spring day out here and got some firewood that needs to be cut. And I figured it's about time to do another video with my Solo Rex chainsaw. It's uh, one of my favorite saws because it's so big and loud and uncomfortable to use. So I figured I'd do another video of it. So, uh, cold start. I ran it yesterday, started good, one pull, so it should start on one pull again, one or two. So, uh, do some cuts on this, uh, white oak here, and some cherry, and a little bit of maple. Enjoy. Well, this is right after my little incident with my solo Rex where it uh, backfired on me and blew apart the air filter retainer and uh, gave me a little scare. So I figured, as I got the carburetor off here, I figured that uh, something messed up the reed valve and uh, it was backfiring some smoke past the reed valve. But, Solo Rex is piston ported, believe it or not, for however old it is, I don't know, what is it, 50s, 60s, probably 50s, piston ported. So, how can this thing backfire on me? You saw the puff of smoke and it had some force to it, it broke off that plastic piece. So. I uh, I started it and ran it again for a couple seconds and it popped again and broke the uh, the the gasket. This, uh, this gasket that uh behind the air filter blew that out. No big deal. I can make another one, but uh, it's got it's got, it's got a little force to it. So it did that, and uh, I don't want to keep running it and possibly damage something else. So, uh, what should I do? I don't know. I, uh, don't see how... Unless, uh... I mean, it's good compression. It's not like there's the, uh, fire from the ignition is going past... past the piston into the crankcase and burning the fuel in the crankcase and blowing it out the carburetor. Maybe it is. I don't know. But, uh... Maybe one of you guys out there has a... has an idea. Thanks.